Today we celebrate the Feast of Mark the Evangelist, and, for obvious reasons, we have switched our Gospel readings from John to Mark. Today's passage is part of the appendix to his Gospel, and most scripture scholars think he probably didn't write it. Each of the Gospel narratives tells us about Jesus, his mission, and his teaching. All four Gospel accounts vary in style, length, and emphasis but they all proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. The Gospel of Mark is quite distinctive, being the shortest and probably the earliest to have been composed. Mark was a disciple of St. Peter, and it's thought that he wrote the Gospel in Rome while with him. Written in Greek, it was probably intended for a Gentile rather than a Jewish audience. Mark's Gospel is different in emphasis and tone to John's Gospel that we've been reading in these Easter days. It's been said that Mark is the Gospel of Christ's humanity, and John is the Gospel of his divinity. For me, it's sometimes difficult in John to see Christ's humanity, while in Mark, Jesus is always very human. Mark and Luke wrote their Gospels despite not being among the Twelve Apostles. St. Augustine of Hippo said they were chosen as evangelists, quote, so that it may not be thought that the grace of evangelization had come only from the Apostles, and that in them the foundation of grace had dried up, unquote. In our Gospel passage today, we have Jesus' final appearance before his Assumption. His departure barked both an end and a beginning for the disciples. It was the conclusion of Jesus' actual presence with them, but it was also the beginning of his presence with his disciples in a new way. As the final words of our Gospel reading attest, quote, The Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. Jesus asks his disciples to proclaim the good news of salvation to every nation. Clearly, God's love and grace aren't for a select few, but for everyone who can accept salvation. The Great Commission, which the risen Christ gave to the Apostles, is equally given to us, the people of God. We've all been given a share in the task, called, as St. Paul tells us to be, ambassadors for Christ. Just as God poured out the power of the Holy Spirit upon those first disciples, so today the Holy Spirit is with us to guide us and help us in our worldwide mission. St. Teresa of Avila has told us that Christ has no hands or feet but ours. In what way are you trying to bring the Lord to those you encounter? every day. God bless.